In this session, we're going to discuss secure PKI lifecycle and automating PKI policies with Venify. The challenges with securing PKI is it's oftentimes difficult to enforce policies. We can establish the policies, but how to enforce them is the problem. The other issue is it's oftentimes hard to detect non-compliant resources. If we establish the policies and something goes outside of these policies, how can we um, find these systems and do something about it? It's oftentimes also difficult to meet new security standards. When we look at things such as the move from SHA-1 to SHA-2, how do we identify those systems and how do we make that change? Um, there's also um, oftentimes the lack of ability to respond to vulnerabilities or breaches so that if something like Heartbleed happens, um, how do we respond to that quickly rather than a manual efforts that can take several months? And there's oftentimes sizable barriers to adoption. Um, if we're moving to a new system or implementing a new PKI and we're making it not easy for the users, oftentimes you know, they don't, you know, they're hesitant to make that move. And so we need to make something that's easy for them so they want to make that move with us. So the way to address these challenges are we need the ability to detect all hosts and certificates, find what's out there, find the certificates, and then have a continual process to make sure that we're always looking for our new certificates and new hosts. Um, we also need the ability to define and enforce the policies, standards, and procedures. Like I said previously, it's one thing to define the standards, but another thing how to enforce those policies. And the way we do that is through a quick and easy self-service portal, making it very, very easy for the user to request and renew certificates and keys, as well as that portal enforcing those standards and policies. You also need a workflow that makes it automated for the issuance, renewal, installation, and validation of the certificates. Once again, making it very easy for users, they request the certificate, and then we need the, a system that's automated in order to retrieve those certificates from the CA and then install them. And then we also need a very automated way to do remediation or instant response if something like Heartbleed happens or if there's a breach, we need the ability to respond to that. So how does Vinify help with this? On the Protect side of things, we have a discovery engine that gives you visibility out all of the resources, all your hosts, and provides a complete inventory on everything that's out there. We also establish policies so that based on this inventory, we can understand what is in compliance and what is out of compliance. On the detect side, we have the ability to enforce the policies. So using their self-service portal, we make it very easy for users to request certificates, and when they request keys and certificates, it's going to make sure that the policies are enforced at that request time. And there's also the ability to respond. We have an automated engine that does issuance, renewal, and installation of those certificates. So in the event of a breach or if there's some sort of uh, uh, vulnerability like Heartbleed, we want to make sure that there's a very, very automated system in order to fix those items. And then the final piece is making sure that there's a validation process to make sure that once a certificate has been pushed, we want to make sure that that system is using it, it's operational, and everything is good to go, and making sure that you're checking that on a continual basis to make sure that the systems are still operational. All right, so now let's look at a demonstration. We'll talk about protect, detect, and respond in our product with the Trust Protection Platform. And so for Protect, the way we do that is there's visibility through a discovery engine. And so with our discovery engine, you have the ability to create multiple discovery jobs. And the jobs um, identify where we're going to the scan. Um, we can take this information from another scanning engine if you have that information, or you can have Venify do the complete scanning. And so what we do is we specify um, where we're going to look, such as um, the, we call it details and targets. And it's going to be the IP addresses, the subnets, the the host names, um, very configurable, whatever you want to do in this particular job. And then you also specify the ports. So you can use the standard 8443, uh, but you can also use 8443, 9443, whatever um, non-standard ports you like. And the point here is that we're going to discover all of the certificates in this discovery job. We're then going to automatically place these into the system. So the point there is we want to make sure that it does not require a manual effort. We don't want someone to have to log back into the system and, and do a manual activity. What we want is to find the certificates and automatically place them into inventory. And once they're in the inventory, then we can make sure that the policies are applied. So the, the next piece on the protect was you know, the, you know noticing what the policy violations were. So if we go to the dashboard, for example, 
And then the very first thing we're going to see here is our critical alerts and then the status and if we have anything that's outside of our policy. So for example, I have here, I have one that's an unapproved CA. I can hover over that and it will tell me if I have something that's either an unapproved CA, if I have something with excessive validity periods. And you'll notice when I hover here, it shows that you know there's NIST information, there's the CAB form information. And so we show you if there's PCI information, so we show you exactly what's applicable here um, so that you can take action if there's a problem there. All right, so um, the next piece is under detect. And so the ability to enforce policies, all right? So for example, when we look at the expiration, we see something, if we have seen the certificates are going to expire, I could click on these um, the expiration or the upcoming expirations. I could then click on this particular certificate and you'll notice I have the renew now button. And so I can show all properties about this certificate and by simply clicking on the Renew Now button, what this would do is it would enforce all of our policies. So it would make sure that the key length is appropriate, the signing algorithms are appropriate, all of the information that we've established at the policy level, the user doesn't have to worry about any of that whatsoever. It's fully automated. Venify will generate the key material, Venify will generate the CSR, we will communicate to the CA, we do all of that automated so the user does not have to go through that manual process. That makes it very, very easy for users to adopt this new process and procedures. It also ensures that our security policies, standards, and procedures are all in place, making it very, very easy for the user. Okay, all through the self-service portal. We can also choose to look at our certificate inventory. I could then say I want to create a new certificate, and then Venify would ask me, where do I want to install this certificate? And let's say I wanted to do in Business Unit ABC, I would specify a nickname, and this is just a friendly name. I would then give an optional description. You have the ability to have custom fields if you like. These are just metadata that Venify can create and track for you. Then we'll choose next, and you'll notice that the only thing we're asking for is a common name and an organizational unit. We're not asking them for key link, any information about security. All of those things are pre-populated at the template level, so it's really, really simple for the user once again. They choose next. And then that process would be completed just like we discussed earlier. Venify would generate key material, CSR, submit that to the CA, all of that's handled in an automated fashion. All right, so the next thing we want to look at, the final piece was we talked about on response. And so this is incident response, or if there is something like heart bleed, there's a vulnerability, um, how do we respond to that? And so for example, Let's say that we have this unapproved certificate um, that's from an unapproved certificate authority. I could then select this and I could make sure I wanted to either renew that certificate um, and use a proper certificate authority, or let's say a very real scenario that we're all dealing with in the industry right now is moving from SHA-1 to SHA-2. So if I had a certificate that was SHA-1, I would click that and then I would have the ability to say I want to renew that certificate and then it would go to SHA-2. Just like we're looking here, I would select this certificate. When I select the certificate, I then have the ability to renew and when the certificate's renewed, it's going to automatically enforce all of our security policies and standards on that renewal process. All right, and the final piece is what we call validation. So there's validation in my demo system, forgive me, I have it disabled. But what validation does is it's going to make sure that that certificate is installed, it's operating properly, and it's responding. So every night, and this happens on a recurring basis, we validate that those certificates that are installed are working properly and everything is in good shape and, and working in, in proper order. If something does not respond, if either the certificates change or one of the attributes change, then we let someone know about it because there's a potential incident happening. All right, so in summary, on the protect, detect, and respond, we give visibility. We have the ability to create policies, enforce policies through a secure self-service portal, and then on the response side, the ability to do an incident response through automation. All right, thank you very much for your time today, and if you have any questions, please contact us at Venify. We're happy to help in any way we can. Thank you very much.